Hey, look, there it is. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Let me make sure I got the right microphone going this morning. I did not do that yesterday. Let's see. I didn't do it today. Let's see if that's any better. There we go. So I did not yesterday and got some really funky sounding audio. I apologize for that, but the message got across. That's what's important. As I said, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago, proceed imperfectly. <laughs> and that I did yesterday. Hey, uh, when you get here, drop me a comment down there. Let me know that you were here just like Joe did. And uh, that encourages me. It also sets you up to put Facebook to work for you for a change. Unlike what we heard yesterday, it's been doing for others. Now you can do put it to work for you by letting you know when the conversation continues here in the comments, as it often does after the show is over. You can also like this video, like this channel, share your network, all those things. I'm happy with all those. You can do those. So, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, grab a cup of coffee. Ah, and let's talk about work that matters. So, this week we've been talking about kind of peeling back the layers of this idea that we are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. Today I want to talk about what is work that matters. There's much, much, much more to this than what I'm going to talk about today, but I do want to share with you, excuse me, I want to share with you three ways that you can tell if your work matters, you know, yesterday I talked about, um, our unique gifts and talents being that missing puzzle piece. And if we're not doing the work that matters, if we're not doing the work that we were gifted, talented in place to do, then there's going to be a missing piece in some puzzle. Well, here are the three questions you can ask yourself to, de to determine if your work matters tomorrow. I think we'll talk about what to do if you answer no to any of these questions. But we'll get to that tomorrow. All right. Question number one, does it energize you? Because, and I, you know, this goes back to the idea that if, if we are gifted and talented in a particular way, that work's going to be easy for us. How many of you, either yourselves or you know of someone who will labor away day in, day out at a job that they hate, drag home, and then put on clothes and go out and work in the yard until they can't see anymore <clears throat> and work diligently at doing that. Or, or maybe it's, you know, building a model railroad or an airplane or whatever. They'll put as much or more labor and effort into their quote hobby than they do their work, their day job. Why is that? Well, for me, one of the reasons for me is because it gives my mind time to think. I like to cut the grass, so that's that's what I do. But, but their gifts and talents are calling them to that. They're, it's it's calling you to that. You can't. The things that you are uniquely gifted and talented to do, you can't not do. You know, Eric talked about, uh, he put a post up this morning, actually, talking about um, a friend of ours, Brooke, and I know um, my stepdad can do the same thing. Walk out in the yard and look down and, hey, there's a four-leaf clover. Oh, look, there's another one. Hey, there's one over there by your foot. You can't not do the things that you are uniquely gifted and talented to do. You, you can't. Those are the things that energize you, that you will spend time doing even when you don't have time. All right, so question number one, does it energize you? As you are getting ready to start your day, does the thought of your day energize you or drain the life from you? Hmm, just a thought. Question number two, does it challenge you? Just because it's easy for us doesn't mean it's not a challenge, right? Think about, think about craftsmen. And here I'll throw another bone to Eric today. He's going to have a, uh, for the coffee shop show today, he's going to have, um, an interview with 
a super talented craftsman, Stephen Ware. He's, he's you got to watch it. Nine o'clock, thecoffeeshopshow.com. At any rate, just because he's talented in a particular way doesn't mean that it's that the work is easy. It means that it's um, simple. Simple for you. Simple, but not easy. If that makes any sense. I kind of messed that one up. Does it challenge you, right? The work needs to challenge you. It needs to make you think. It needs to make you sweat. It needs to make you work for the reward. The reason we like doing things that we can turn around and see the result from is because we can see the results of our labor, right? So we don't mind putting labor and effort into things that we can see the result from. In fact, we need to do that. So there's the question. Does it challenge you? Maybe it challenges you going to that job if it's not, uh, if it's not energizing you. But does it actually challenge your abilities? That's, I guess that's, you know, the real underlying question there. And then number three. Does it create opportunity or value for you or other people? Now, this is the hard one, right? Because I might hate what I do, and it's not very difficult, but doggone it, if there's not a bunch of people served by the work that I do every day, <coughs> that might, <coughs> excuse me, that might be the way that you, um, you feel that, that your work comes across. That's this, that's what I said. This is the hard one, right? If, if you are creating opportunity and value for other people, but you're not meeting the other two, then you are not being fulfilled. You're not going to do your best and highest work. Maybe it's just where you're doing it. Maybe it's who you're doing it for. Maybe it's particular processes and policies of that particular exercise, right? Maybe that's what you need to change. If you are creating opportunity, if you're not, then it's a no brainer. Right. This becomes the really simple question to ask. Right. Does it create opportunity? Does it create opportunity for you? I mean, simple. If, if you have a job, if you're working for somebody else, is there opportunity for advancement? If there's not, that's a no. Does it create value for you? Well, if you're working for somebody and it's paying the bills, then it's creating value for you. If you have your own business and it's not paying the bills, it's not creating value. Hmm. Need to check that. All right. So those are the three questions for today. Man, time flies when you're having fun. Uh, yeah, Abby, I'll post a link to that. Um, so the three questions, if you're concerned about whether your work matters, because we're, we're each uniquely gifted, talented in place to do work that matters. How can you tell if your work matters? Does it energize you? Does it challenge you? Does it create opportunity and value for you or other people? If the answer to any one of those is no, then I'm going to submit to you that um, you need to examine the work that you're doing. <laughs> it's hard to say your work doesn't matter, but I think it's very likely that it doesn't matter. You need to look very carefully at what you're doing and see if that's how you are uniquely gifted, talented, and placed. All right, that's it for today. Uh, coffee shop show I mentioned already is going to be a special show today. <clears throat> um, it's going to be an on location outside of the coffee shop show today. Um, uh, and so consequently, Joe, for your benefit, um, I'm not going to be there either. Um, uh, Eric is going to be interviewing Stephen Ware. He is one of the uh, original artisans that designed and created the uh, egg beater Jesus mural at First Baptist Church here in Huntsville that they are. Uh, replacing now as it has <coughs> gotten old and pieces of it were falling off so they decided to rework it he's not actually doing that work this time but he is there contributing his expertise and experience so that's going to be a great uh, interview that's at the coffee shop show.com i'll put a link to that in the in the uh, show notes and with that i'm going to wrap it up Thanks again for being here this morning. I appreciate it. I hope that you will take a few minutes to ask yourself these three questions. Does it energize you? Does it challenge you? Does it create opportunity and value for you or other people? If the answer to any one of those is no, let's talk.
shoot me a note. I'll help you work through it. That's my gift to you. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment of, uh, I almost said talk radio for entrepreneurs, another brand new episode of seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll talk to you tomorrow.